everyone, and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. My name is Nina. What's your name? It's nice to meet you. Let's sing our good morning song together. Stretch your arms out like airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, fly over to the other side, fly back to the middle, and now we'll take our airplane wings into a big circle out in front of us like this. Stretch your circle up over your head. Let's stretch to this side, over to that side. One last stretch up at the top, and now let's bring the circle back down and sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day so far. Before we get started with the calendar and weather chart, we have to do three things quickly. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Number two, let's put on our thinking hats. My thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. Today my thinking hat has some snaps underneath my chin. I'm going to snap, snap, snap it up. And the third and final thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts like this. Boom, 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 boom. And now we're ready for circle time. Behind me, I have the calendar and weather chart. And first, let's go over the date. The month is right up here. Do you know what the month is? July. That's right, friends. The month is July. Today is July 28th. Let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was July 27th, and today is July 28th, and the year is 2021 or 2021. So take a look, friends. We are almost through with the month of July. Let's use our counting fingers and see how many days are remaining in the month. Give your finger a little stretch and let's count together. After today, we only have one, two, three. We only have three more days left in the month of July. Then we will begin a brand new month. I'm going to sing a song all about the 12 months in a year and listen carefully to see if you can hear what month comes after July. January, February, March and April, May and June, July and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Did you hear that? The month that comes after July is August. The first day of August will be in four days, but we still have three more days left in the month of July. Let's hold up our seven fingers for each of the seven days of the week and sing together. If you know the words, you can sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Now let's go down to the bottom of the chart and go over the days together. I will give you the sound that the day starts with, and if you know what the day is, you can say it with me. Yesterday was t Tuesday. That means that today is w. Wednesday. Tomorrow will be th Thursday. Let's sing Today is Wednesday together. It goes like this. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday all day long. And when we go back up to the top of the chart, Right up here, we have the season. Do you remember what the season is? Summer, you're right. It's summertime where I live. 
And now let's go back down to the bottom of the chart and sing the weather song together before we share what we see outside of our window. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? So when I look outside of my window today, it's mostly sunny with a few puffy white cumulus clouds. My temperature chart is on orange because it's warm today. Warm and mostly sunny with a few clouds. Today is a beautiful summer day where I live. What about you? What do you see outside of your window? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Now let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. This week, we have been talking all about this uppercase or capital letter. Do you know what sound this letter makes? Let's do that together. P, P. This is an uppercase or capital P. That's right. P says, Inside of the letter box, I have something that starts with the letter P. P. I'll give you a few clues, and if you know what it is, you can take a guess. Here's your first hint. This is a spread. So this spread can be creamy or crunchy. People like to put it in a sandwich, sometimes with jelly. You can also put it on top of toast. Hmm, what could it be? Let's open it up and see. Peanut butter. So this peanut butter is smooth. That means that all the peanuts have been ground up into a smooth spread. I like to put peanut butter inside of my smoothie in the morning. Peanut butter is made from ground up or smashed peanuts and peanut butter starts with the letter P. P. Do you like peanut butter? I do. This is how you write an uppercase P. P. One more time. Here's the number of the week. What number is this? Nine. That's right. Now let's count to the number nine together using the large bead frame. This week we are going to be counting to the number nine together using the large bead frame. We will be counting the green beads, which are the units at the top. Let's count nine units together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine units. I wonder what we have to count today inside of the box. I have some pebbles. So as I count them, I'll line them up across the top so we can count together. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one more makes nine. Nine pebbles. Now it's time to go over the sign of the week. Will you show me how to say moon in sign language? That's right, friends. Let's do that together one more time. Moon. Have you ever wondered why when you drop something, it falls down and not up? Take this apple, for example. If I dropped it from my hand, do you think that it would fall down or go up? What do you think? Let's test it out and see. Will you count to three with me? One, two, three. Just as I thought, 
the apple fell downward. But why is that? It's because of gravity. Gravity is an invisible force that pulls everything downward. Without gravity, everything, including people, would be weightless and floating all over the place. A small amount of gravity is found in space. In fact, it's what keeps the planets and moon in orbit. For today's work, we are going to test out a really cool science experiment that has to do with gravity and water. Let's go. For today's work, we are going to be doing a science experiment. For this work, you are going to need a cup, one that you are able to poke two holes through. So one on this side, one on that side, and then I threaded some yarn through it and made a little handle like this. I have my water right here. And instead of using a cup with thread, instead you can just use a bucket that has a handle and fill it about halfway with water. So like we talked about earlier, gravity is a force. Now, when I spin this cup around me, I'm going to create an orbit. And the force is going to keep the water inside of the cup. First, let's see what happens when I fill this cup up with water, about halfway. And what do you think is going to happen when I tip the cup upside down? Do you think it's going to spill out? Let's see. It did, it came right out. Watch what happens now when I fill the cup halfway with water again. But this time I'm going to hold the little handle that I made and just start to lightly swing it from side to side like this. I'm going to get a little bit faster and swing it up and around like this. Do you see any water coming out? Let's try that again. So side to side, get some momentum going, and now I'm going to create the orbit. It's gonna go around me like this, and the force is holding the water inside of the cup. And to slow it down, I go like that, and the cup is still filled halfway with water. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. Remember to keep that cup or bucket spinning in an orbit, otherwise you're going to get wet. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive summertime classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. Let's sing our goodbye song together. Can you wave like this? Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.